Hello. Welcome to my bedroom again. <laughs> and minimize this. This time I'm a bit more prepared and it should just play audio. <laughs> Please tell me it's working. <laughs> All right, so this is an idea I started on the last stream. And this is the part that I th thought I was screwing around on but it turned out to be something good. And I just went back and cleaned it up and took out some stuff that didn't belong. Um, I'll just play it. So this second part, I have the music written. I did that before I started the stream. I'll go through, I think I should be wearing headphones instead of playing it through my speakers. Should sound a bit better. Mix my voice into my headphones. All right. I'm going to go through the parts that I have. This group of four tracks is all sent through, except for this one, all sent through filter delay. These are all little bits from guitar recordings. what I did. So each one of these is a little tiny bit of that. And then the same goes for these next two tracks. It's not working, babe. What's not working? Oh, it's working. <laughs> it stopped. Did it stop? Hmm. Yeah, it's frozen on my computer too. What did I do last time? Hmm. Change to 5G. All right, I changed the bit rate and hopefully that helps. All right, I think it's good. Let me test out the audio. Okay, it's working, but there's definitely like 
15 seconds before I answer your question to when you hear it. All right, these next two tracks here. So I went and did this stuff. And this is the reason why my CPU is at 30%. It's just this plugin. But I can't freeze it yet. I have the volume automated. So with the delay on, it sounds like this. Oh, that's cool. I actually like this. I extended it earlier just to show the sample. I wonder if it's better. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Underneath those chords, I have this really cool string recording that I found. So it'll kind of feel like there's some something building up in the second half of this. I hope. So, I will program these drums and try and do it fast enough that it's not painful to watch. The reason why it's so easy to work on this now is because I figured out a little process to it. And it doesn't seem like from song to song there's any way to predict what it'll be. Every song has its own step-by-step. -step. I'll solo the bass for anyone who wants to. Where is it? All right. I'm going to start with this track. Just little cuts from, I forget what it's called, Soul Pride. Classic break. <laughs> I have a big folder of breaks, and they're fun to use, but every song sounds the same. It just has this weird kind of cold feeling somehow. It reminds me when I first started, I had a mono, and I put drum breaks on the mono. So the song's in, I guess it's in 4-4, but it's also septuplets happening. So there's one, two, well, I guess it would be <laughs> slower than that, like one, two, three, four. But then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. <laughs> and usually without all the subdivisions, it kind of just sounds like a hip-hop beat. Okay. So 
was a pretty random process. It doesn't really matter where I take stuff from, but sometimes I'll hear something that I didn't intend to hear. I might have to freeze the laggy plugin. Oops, nice. <laughs> Maybe I'll delete it and import it from the session after I'm done. Ableton really needs some way of, I guess I can turn off the plugin, but it's still running. And now if I delete it. Hmm. Maybe it's OBS running at the same time. I'm just gonna put up with it. It's so laggy. It feels like Ableton's swimming in corn syrup. Grabbing a kick here. Maybe one of these soft snares. And if I fade in the beginning of it, it'll sound almost like a ghost note or more of a ghost note. It's probably already a ghost note. This would be cool on the start of the bar. This is about as fast as I go, but I think I'm gonna have to go faster. Take some shortcuts and steamroll my perfectionism. <laughs> Somebody emailed me that phrase and I heard it earlier that day on the Bill Words podcast. So I'm not sure if other people say it or if it's from Bill Words. I 
like these hi-hats a lot. The best way to do this is probably just take little stuff from the other side and place it down randomly. That's nice. I'm going to put something here and fade it into the next one. Maybe not. Mm. Who loves these fade handles in the new Ableton? <laughs> I haven't done a lot of pitching with this sample. I've just been dropping it in, but maybe like some fast stuff. Ouch. That two samples. So, mm, I should finish this bar first. <laughs> Let me grab something. this or the look of this <laughs> all right i'm definitely not happy with this the way it is but i'm going to try and move up and start layering stuff on top. So the f track is... Uh, it says 808 snare and <laughs> the track name is 7, of seven snare. So it's probably somewhere in between like 857, 856.5, 860. Eight, eight hundred and sixty, <laughs> seven hundred and sixty-seven point five snare.
can definitely be too confusing to keep biting you. Dot, bop, dot. <laughs> Nodding your head too. I love when you want to move the fade handles, but you have to expand the track. Does the enhancement pack fix that? That's two tracks on top of each other. This track is a higher version of this. Hello, Legion 25, 250. <laughs> And then I just warped it so that it's on the septuplet grid. So I can almost duplicate this over. I'll probably change some of it. We have to backline a lot of keyboards for the show, and if I get weighted keys, it's a pain because I can't play fast on that. Semi-weighted is okay, but if it's really heavy, I don't really see the point. Seems like keyboards were the invention to fix the problem of pianos having really heavy feeling to them. that almost does nothing. <laughs> I don't have to spend too much time placing it. It's almost meaningless. <laughs>
this is a really useful sound along with this. I tune as I go, I think, because it should kind of follow the chord progression almost if, if it's important. Otherwise, I don't think I've pitched most of these sounds, but snares, I find I have to even adjust the tune on them. <laughs> is definitely the wrong feel if I play for let me move my face closer to the mic it should fix the problem I moved the mic away from myself because I didn't want to breathe into it like a creep. <laughs> Baseline request number two. Program the bass now. It's time. <laughs> Just on this little section here. I like this bass sound. I put a little notch here. Without it, it's kind of boring.
There's no mono capability. Especially some of the first songs I made. I didn't know what inverting the phase of one channel did. There's entire sections of songs that if you play it through your iPhone speaker, it just disappears. I'm really scared of having a low bass note that's a semitone off and not being able to hear it. Maybe there should be an option where you can have a scale, but it doesn't fold the notes. You can just see highlighted, and then you can catch the, the notes that aren't in the scale. I'm going to put little silences in this one. Maybe one. That's true, just move the whole bass line up. I think I've done that a couple times. Especially in a cafe where everyone's talking around you and you can't hear what bass note you want. I'm, just like, I'm always like listening up here and then writing the bass line. <laughs> that's so awesome. Maybe that's a idea for later. kinds of things that make me really anxious when I have a good idea and I'm too afraid to use it. I have to keep it the way it is for now. <laughs> what does everyone think? I do this a lot. This plugin has the ability to just octave the bass. This is the best bass sound ever, and I have no idea how it works, but there's something special happening. You can layer two, two of the same notes and detune them, and it doesn't phase. It just seems to like enhance the bass sound. So I've been using it more often. The only problem is you can't have velocity sensitive programming. All right, this is the start of probably the next two hours of work here.
I figure once I get these eight bars done, then I'll be able to just kind of duplicate it and take some parts out instead of just doing the whole song like this. But I do like a song that has work put into it that's not just duplicating stuff over and over again. This one takes especially long. I just heard something. It'd be cool to have a louder, maybe a contact library with one of the ethnic string instruments. I'm scared to try and open contact with the string running. We'll see how it goes. While it loads, you can ask a question and I'll be able to see it. I made a version of this that sounds better. The way they created this wasn't great. There's two styles. This one has a release on it, but you can't control the decay of the note. So I made a version of it that takes both the samples and puts them together. I just have to go and get it. I don't have a problem finishing an idea. Once it's in motion, I'm pretty happy to work on it. I can work on it all day and be happy, but the problem is when it's not easy to work on yet. And that can last like a month if I'm unlucky, but lately it's been a bit more like a week. Even I'll try to work on two songs at the same time and it just doesn't help. I'll end up getting focused on one and not being able to do both at the same time. So every time I finish a song, there's this period where I'm like struggling to get into the next song. At this point, I know I'm going to finish this song because I'm into it. If it was just the first idea, even actually the first idea for this one, I knew it would be a full song at some point. Where did that go? So I'll play both instruments, the original and the one I fixed. Um, so some people at Ausla were organizing sessions with people in LA for, I was staying there for a month and Taylor Bennett was one of the names. There was a lot of names, so I, I had the opportunity to go through and pick. The funny thing is we made a track that day at the studio, but at the end, his manager, I think, came along and they asked me to play some stuff that I was working on. And I played them th the beat underneath that song and they're like oh I want that one I'm like I'm never gonna finish this so you can have it um, Sunny has a photographer named Maria and she was at this Red Bull event in Montreal and she was hired to take photos of the 
event. It was a Red Bull event. And she sent a video of me playing the Seinfeld bass line to Skrillex. And later that day, he DM'd me on Twitter. It was an exciting day. <laughs> I was like, just turned 18, I think. All right, here's the shitty version. And. Why can't I arm this track? I think because it has a different input. I'm just going to do this. I have no idea what I said about that. proud of this so I'm doing another comparison and actually I think a more fair comparison is the non-dampened it sounds good enough that I don't need an actual instrument to feel satisfied Plus, I couldn't play it if I had it. This keyboard has a bunch of notes that are broken. And I have one keyboard out where we rehearse, and I have to switch them every time. Unless I don't want to be frustrated with the broken notes. All right. It's been so long, I think I forget what I wanted to do with this sound anyway. Definitely try and play like quintuplets instead of septuplets. I got it. I understand. be kind of cool maybe I'm also trying to combat with the latency on this it's insane
I don't understand, <laughs> understand this, this button. Yeah, there's no way I'm ever going to learn what that does. I might change. I oh, can't do it. I'm not going to risk it. Did I delete the wrong track? I feel like I deleted one of the... I have to fix it. I can't play with this. Show Tess's drum parts all run off of a different laptop, and I send um, MIDI automation. There's one MIDI track with all of the parameters filled with automation, and it's all MIDI mapped, and it just sends through one MIDI cable. And I don't even have to press play on the other laptop. And the best thing is I can run it at 64 kilobytes per second. What is it? That's kilobytes per second, right? <laughs> Samples. Let me know if the audio is broken since I did that. I might have to restart the... I'll just do it just in case. All right. Ah! Okay, I definitely broke it just now. It's working now, right? be this dif difficult to play it's definitely not intuitive it sounds intuitive when i'm listening to it but as soon as i try and play on it every time i'm like thinking i'm gonna land on the the one i'm not <laughs>
and just record something and might be useful later, but definitely doesn't belong the way it is. I was able to play on it for a while. It's so weird. It's like a different. I watched some videos of people doing, I forget the name, like East Indian beatboxing, <laughs> where they're doing it in like quintuplets, but three times as fast as this. thing is the bpm so fast that i can actually just quantize it and it'll work all right that's fine for now I'll probably put this at the beginning of the track and freeze it. Okay, there's some questions about the drums. I'll just go back and show you what's going on. So here's the kick drums from the same break. I guess it's barely from the same break. It's almost just like resampled a bunch of times. I froze it because I don't want it to keep running while I'm working on the rest of it. If I freeze it, I can just let it sit there and not eat up my CPU. So. This is all from the break. Then there's some extra stuff. And this just makes it sound great. <laughs> um, I use audio because you can't repitch stuff if it's on a drum rack, unless you had them all on, on their individual simplers. Even then, you couldn't reverse one of the samples. So sometimes it's easier if it's a kick and snare, but it stops you from being able to do a lot of things. Especially with this, like this track wouldn't exist unless it was audio. Is cutting low frequencies 
something that everyone does. That might be something that I would have learned from YouTube. Yeah, the automatic fade thing at the beginning of, of stuff is a problem. This one doesn't have it. Hmm. It's kind of scary losing the transient, but I'll usually hear it before before I notice that it's not there. Does that make sense? I'll watch back later and work it out. This is around the time when I start to lose my brain. I've been doing a couple streams like this where I've gone two and a half hours, but by the end of it, I'm almost brain dead. Um, I'm going to save this. I might save a copy because I feel like I screwed something up. I think I deleted one of the tracks. I have an idea for the next time. If someone can recommend what they think the best site to do it would be, but it would be fun if people could send in small samples and that would be the only thing that I could use to make a song. I wonder if Google Drive's the best way to do it. Is someone cooking upstairs? Or is that my laptop? Do you smell it? Let me go check upstairs. Is your laptop done? Yeah, it might be cooking itself. Oh yeah, I'm, I th I'm pretty sure Greg just made a freaking popcorn. <laughs> 3 p.m. popcorn. No one wants to grocery shop because it's 30 below. There's like eight inches of snow outside. Oh, I made this. Maybe I made this on the stream, but I don't think I did. Oh, no one can hear it. I'm so bad at this. I need a better solution. I keep saying that, but... I'll have one soon. the verdict on this this is something i probably wouldn't work on unless i accidentally played it just now okay i'm gonna take the next 15 minutes and try and make a new idea. And then I'm gonna say sayonara and take a little nap. How about some suggestions from you guys on something I should attempt to make? Maybe genre or something.
like this. Hmm. Maybe I'll put them all together. If someone can put them all together into one and send me that, I'll use that. <laughs> Russian hard base. <laughs> mm. I think I'll start with. It seems like a lot of post future dubstep. This seems like the that seems like the serious suggestions. All right. It seems like a lot of post up step. I'm going to give that a shot. Plus, maybe I'll scroll up and catch some of the other ones. Steel drums. You know, it's a good kick sample when you see this kind of shape going on. <laughs> it's clean. Don't worry about anything. It's going to be okay. The sound should be back on now. Is it? Is it working now? Hmm. I'm going to try and build up something that resembles a drum beat. I think it's almost the same as if you guys submitted samples, just kind of pulling stuff from this folder randomly and having to use it. It's a terrible, terrible sound. I 
have no idea. Maybe trap is the way. That's my snare sound. Whoa. What's that? Prosecco gummies. Okay. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm gonna look for something that is kind of like a shaker. I wish you could hear these, but it doesn't go through the program. Hmm, these crickets should work. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's done this before. <laughs> Imagine being a cricket and knowing this is your fate. Oh, there we go. Cricket retained. It just didn't work before, so this should be...
Hmm. Did I mess that up? Might slow down a bit. I have some samples in here that scare me every time I hit them. Like this dog barking. Every single time. It's so loud. It's about four times louder than everything else in here. And I'm just going around like... Guitar strings, cat me <laughs> just bark. Ah, cheese grater, nice. The dog will join the jackhammer and this one sample that is corrupt and just blasts full volume white noise. <laughs> Ableton definitely needs a shuffle grid where you could just apply the groove to the grid. That sounds like it has to exist. Someone tell me it exists. Crickets receiving a lethal dose of stereo delay. All right. Time to put something down as there should be music with these crickets. I hate how many times I've done this. I should change the default to this. <laughs> I like ping pong. I'm going to set this to this. And then take off this start of it. <laughs> okay. Um, send me some more suggestions because I've already forgotten what was sent.
I was wondering why the LFO kept resetting. I'm not going to be that lucky. Confuses me every time. There we go. Okay. Hmm. White noise on massive. Or maybe I'll just put white noise on the track. It's almost the same thing if I'm playing solid. Hmm. Water. Oh no. I can still hear the chorus. <laughs> Here's a um, bathtub draining. I really like this. I saw Tom's. I don't really like to use Tom samples as much as I like to make one in massive.
that's fine for now. Legion, you really like uh, listening to all your music mono, I think. <laughs> Almost no one's ever going to hear something summed unless they're listening through iPhone speaker, in which case it doesn't really matter. That's my opinion.
eight. Playing chords with a bass, you could fall. It's so hard when I'm streaming because I'm thinking of not boring everybody and it's hard to hear even huge issues like the sound of the snare. <laughs> Make something like disclosure. Sometimes there's nothing in the the sound that actually sounds snappy enough. It's either like sandy or not sandy. Sometimes this helps. This should be stereo as well. I'll use the reverb I have. So sweet. <laughs> I've been using this plugin for the whole time I've ever made music, and every time I open it and put it on a different sound, I get really excited. How crazy is that? Something's killing my CPU. I have a feeling it's the bathtub. Don't quote me. No, it's not the bathtub. Hmm. Maybe it's the crickets? They're going pretty hard. Let me, <laughs> let me flatten the crickets. Whoopsie. All right, crickets have been flattened. The bathtub's still not empty. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's no kick drum. Thank you. First time I ever played this was so much better. I don't know why it's not working anymore. Hmm. Alright, <laughs> it kind of sounds like it did the first time I played it. Okay, time for some better kick drums for sure. Let me see what I got. This one is fine. Does it need that? Maybe it doesn't. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't make stuff like this, so it's like a new, new place. I think I've done four kick drums like that four times. I don't know why I had to play all of them. <laughs> Oh, we have sample submission. <laughs> I'm going to... I might have to get you to send it again so I can open it on this. Okay, resend it. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying using your computer in front of everyone. <laughs> Did it even, ah, oh, downloaded to this. 
right, we got it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think it should be on the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a listens track now. Yeah. We have to do something with this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has so much uh so much throat sound. Yeah. 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 And there's like some nice <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 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 Let's see what I can do with this. Maybe some crazy reverb on it. <laughs> this should happen once in the song for sure. Just once. I'm going to give this a save. And never open it again. <laughs> Maybe I'll open it next time I stream. Yeah. That W might actually help me identify this. All right, I think we're done here. I went a little longer than I thought I would. After about 60 minutes, which is an hour by the way, I start to lose my mind. So <laughs> it's gone now. If you're not um, if you're not following this channel, but you want to get notified when I start streaming, there's a subscribe button somewhere. Or not subscribe. Subscribe's different. There's a follow button. And... What was I going to... Yeah, well, I'll do the, the thing where you send in samples the next time. I think that'll be fun. And there's Discord up. I have nothing to do with it. Tess made the Discord. But I can find the link here and send it before I go. What's will you touch projects again mean? <laughs> oh, the submitted projects? Yeah. Maybe I should do that the next time because there's still a bunch that I didn't get to. So many I didn't get to. All right, I'm going to send the Discord server link if anyone's interested. I have no idea how to use this program. Where do I share it? OK. 
Give me a second. <laughs> Oh, okay. Someone sent it. Uh, I have no idea what it is, but if you're interested in that sort of thing. Thanks to everyone for sticking around and see you tomorrow or the next day. Bye-bye.